I'm going to stick here with a refresher video on how to hydro dip blaster shells. Now, I'm going to be using the shell to the new Busby Easy Fire, and I will be doing a few different sections. This is basically everything that was green. I'm wanting to give it more of a color coordinated hydro dip to match the dart, as I call them the angry little gremlin dart. It looks like they're yelling at you. So, what we're going to do is I'm using some inspiration from the dart itself, the new AccuBlast darts, and we're going to, as you can see, coordinate to the colors that the dart has. And what I've got here is uh, Rust Oleum American Accents, two times. It's an ultra cover primer and painter combination. It's, it's their way of trying to get you to say that it's better. But it's real orange and gloss seaside. Now, I am not going to do just the two tone. I like incorporating at least three colors when I hydro dip. It gives more of a distinctive pattern. So we're going to use some gloss black. It's just basic, again, the American accents. This has proven to work very well. So we are going to do a seaside blue, real orange, and with just a little bit of black. Now I'll shake every can. Now things you'll need before we actually get into the actual process of hydro dipping is of course you'll need your paint and you'll need the blaster shell to already be primed. This is four very light coats of primer and along with the primed and ready shell, you probably want to pick up some of these like food service gloves. These are cheap and they help keep your hands from just being absolutely covered. And you will need a stick. This is just out of a cheapo pack of skewers that you can buy at grocery stores and you know in in the grilling section. But you'll use this to swirl the paint away before you pull the shell back up. This is key. Go buy them, you know, like a hundred of them for a, a couple dollars. And these, you can normally get a pack of them for about five dollars. But we'll use those after I've got the paint on the surface of the water. And we're gonna do blue, orange, and black in that order. And if you want, you can also make multiple sections so that it makes distinctive patterns. It's all that this is all personal preference. And while we're at it, cool water is best because if it's warm, the paint will actually start to set up on the water, and then it makes it kind of glob onto the blaster shell. And that's not what you want. And I've got enough black in there. And again, this is all personal preference. So now I'm gonna do more color. And I am gonna let it just kind of swirl around and create a wild, like, oil slick effect. Now we got kind of the effect I'm looking for. I want a wild pattern. So now, on with the food service gloves. And I have a couple little pieces I'm going to do first. Going to do little grip inserts and just kind of spin these in over here. I'm not going to worry about separating the water 
for them. Actually, I'll, I'm going to do the main blaster shell now. And what I want to do is find a place that I can grab that's not going to be affected. This is all right here. This is all hidden. Stay on camera here. Be a professional. This is all hidden by other parts of the shell. So I'm going to hold it right here. And you need to do the same no matter what shell you're using. That way you can insert it and you don't destroy your pattern. So I'm going to insert it and then spin it around slowly and try to get it fully submerged all the way around and down. Now while I have that I'm actually going to go ahead and dip this and I'm just going to do a straight down push with it. I'm going to circulate the water a little bit so I can get it out. And I'm going to set it aside. And now the main blaster shell, I do not want to double imprint kind of. So we'll circle around it. Get the water cleared. And I'm trying to push all of the residue left away from the shell. So that I can then pull it up and not have this weird duplicating print. And so now I can grab here because this is also a part that will be covered up. Now we have our finished Hydra Dip. And as you can see I was going for mostly an orange appearance and it makes kind of beautiful wave formations. And then this will be put together into a modded blaster. But that's to showcase how it turns out, what to do, so you can have the same effect yourself for literally pennies. It's literally just a cost of some minor supplies and paint. But that's how to hydro dip, hydro dip a blaster shell. And you'll get consistent results. And of course, after this, then once this has been given a few days to cure and completely dry, then you want to clear coat it with a few coats of clear whatever your preference might be on that. But easy, consistent results. And of course you can do this on more than just blaster shells. Time to set this up and let it dry.